Oh hey there, you may know me as that guy who eats a lot of eggs, or that guy who's really really gay, um, but that's not what we're here for, uh, we're here to discuss newbie uh, fat people mistakes, people that are fat but trying not to be fat, so this is a, a great example of something that, not necessarily stupid, but I would say ignorant people do when trying to lose weight, because they're just, they just don't know what they should be doing, so they end up doing something like this. Alright, so over here, let's say that this is the uh, energy that your body has in it, okay? All these batteries and this battery, this is the energy that your body has in it. This is a representation of the energy available in your body as fat. And this is a representation of the amount of energy available in your body as carbohydrates. Okay, now say you start engaging in exercise. There's a uh, uh, two extremes you could go to while exercising. You can either be taking it easy or you could be working really hard. Alright, if you're taking it easy, there's no major demand for uh, energy in your body. And what your body can do is it can use its fat stores because fat doesn't burn as efficiently as carbs. It's more, a little more slow working but because you're not working very hard it can take the time to go through this slow burning energy. Um, and obviously it's way more abundant so it, it can go to that. I mean, it can, it'll use some carbs if, if, at the beginning if you have plenty available, but uh, mainly it's going to focus on burning fat. On the other hand, on the other end of the spectrum, you go for some kind of intense physical activity, whether that be like sprinting or even merely cardio, uh, like uh, really heavy weightlifting, stuff like that, your body's going to go to its carbohydrates because that stuff burns fast. That stuff is your go-to energy when you need a lot right now. So, the first thing you'll notice here is that you have much more uh, fat energy available than carbohydrates. So what happens if you engage in uh, low level activity? Well, you have a shit ton of fat, so, well, I mean, based, it, this is different for every person, but usually you're going to have way fucking more fat available to burn for exercise than your carbohydrates. So. Say you're doing low-level activity. You got plenty of energy. You can do low-level low level activity for really long periods of time. So say like you want to go on like a fucking walk. You could walk for like 10 hours if you wanted to, and you'd be okay. Like I don't know if you're really out of shape. Maybe 10 hours is a lot of question. But let's say four hours. People can you know go on a four-hour walk. People will say you're a cashier. You stand around all day. No big deal. You know why? Because your body burns that. If it were burning that, you'd run out and you'd be fucking, fucking out of luck. Okay, but, other end of the spectrum, how long can you do uh, high intensity activities? Well, you don't have very many carbs to spare. Uh, at first, your body's gonna be like, shit, I need to burn carbs, I need to burn carbs. So you're gonna be burning through those carbs, right? And you're gonna be doing great. But then, as the activity prolongs, your body's gonna start to slowly run out of carbohydrates, not slowly, I should say quickly, and what it's going to do is realize, oh shit, this activity is uh, lasting a little longer than I thought. Maybe I should hang on to these carbs because uh, they're important. Carbs are important, your body knows that. So it wants to uh, spare as many as it can. So if the activity lasts for a while, so let's say you're doing some cardio, right? You hit like the 20 or 30 minute mark into your run. Your body's like, all right, we got to save this, so we switch to that. And uh, a lot of people refer to that uh, switch. It's not, it's not always instant. It's usually more of a gradual thing. But, you know, like hitting the wall, hitting the wall because uh, your energy source goes from the quick burning cardio or carbohydrate thing to the slow burning fats. And because they're slow burning, you don't have as much energy and you're gonna feel crappier while doing the activity. Um, but here's the thing. Okay, here's where people make mistakes when they're trying to burn fat, uh, lose weight. All right, you can, you could definitely, easily, you could easily lose weight doing cardio because it can burn fat and it does burn more calories than um, you know simpler exercises like walking or whatever but here's the thing you burn through this your body wants to replenish it right away because you can only store so much and it's important to make sure that you have this so your body wants this fucking there so if you burn through your carbohydrates your body's gonna be like oh my god I'm hungry feed me and you're gonna be hungry like crazy right until you uh, start to replenish that, no big deal. Like as long as you, you know, remember to eat in moderation, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine, and you'll be good at losing weight. Um, problem is, okay, a lot of people they'll do their cardio or whatever, but 
they don't do it for long enough. Like, say they'll they'll go, they'll hit the cardio machine at the gym for like 20, 30 minutes, okay? All that's doing is it's burning through this bad boy right here. You're going to touch on this, of course. It's never like 100% one way or the other. You get, you're going to take some of this, but your body's mainly going to be focusing on this. So then what happens when you're done at the gym is your body's like, damn, I'm hungry, and you you barely touch this, and your body's trying to replace this. That's its main priority. So you come home, or you go to McDonald's. Or, well, that's a bad example, I guess. Well, okay, some people will go to McDonald's after the exercise. But anyway, thing is, you're feeling hungry, really hungry, because your body's like in a, a hunger mode, and it wants to replenish that. So you might even end up eating a little more than you need to replenish that. And that is just bad news. But... Let's say you were at the gym and you stuck it out, okay? You ran for like 40, 50 minutes, maybe even an hour, okay? Or whatever, you did some kind of cardio. You went swimming for an hour, great. Uh, you burned through this and you burned some fat. So let's just say you, you took out the fat and you took out your carbs. Uh, your body still has to replace that. And it's, it's, going, it's going to have a little bit of a drive to replace this, but not so much. But you're still going to be really hungry. Got to get that. Um, anyway, I think that basically sums that up. Now, let's uh, go to the other way. It's slow burning, right? So, uh, first of all, you barely touch this, right? Um, so that's great, because then you're just mostly burning this, and it's not priority for your body to replenish this. It knows that fat's important, but it knows you have a lot. Now, for skinnier people, it's harder to lose fat. So let's say you're not really that fat, and you're just like, uh, you know, a slim person, you're like, damn son, I want to get damn abs, right? And you want to lose those last few pounds. It's harder because your body, you know, it, it wants to replenish this. Like if you only have that much there and you go to the gym and work out and you're burning that, your body is going to have a higher priority to replace it than if you had this much to spare and then you drop that much. It's not as big of a deal. Hope you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, the other thing is, cardio. Uh, cardio is more of an in-the-moment thing. You're burning the calories in the moment. Uh, af after the exercise is over, there's a little bit of muscle recovery, but it's not a huge deal. And this is why this is important. Let's say you look at weightlifting as your option is exercise. Now, when you're lifting the weights, uh, depending on the difficulty, you may be using more carbs than fat during the exercise. Like if you're lifting some really heavy shit, and uh, that's, you know, uh, according to the first thing I talked about, that's not necessarily a good thing. But, but, there's a big but here. After the exercise, you have um, a demand for energy that continues even though the exercise has stopped. And see, when your muscles are recovering, it's not like um, a high demand situation. It's not like you're running or anything. When your muscles are recovering, they can go to a slow energy source. And you know what's a wonderful slow energy source? Oh shit, it's your fat, nigga! So, uh, when you lift weights, uh, even if you're not necessarily lifting stuff that's heavy enough to, you know, get all big and bulky and whatever, your body still needs to repair the muscles if you've given it any amount of effort. So, uh, after you exercise, your body's going to be slowly taking away from this throughout the day while you sleep, and that's just fantastic for people that are trying to lose fat. So uh, you, you're you going to be losing all this and blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so uh, I think that's it. Oh, uh, one, one more thing I forgot to mention, which I guess I'll get into real quick, is the cardio thing. A lot of people, they'll, do, they'll go on some cardio machine and they'll hit something on a low intensity, okay? So uh, you, you do something for 40 minutes on a low intensity and you're going to be obviously burning less calories than if you were to uh, hit that same thing at a higher intensity for the same amount of time, which would uh, probably beckon this as an energy source because you'd be running out of this much faster. But people, you know, get tired because they hit the point where they're getting into this and then they don't even make it that far. So one of two things happens. Either they don't do the harder intensity because they know it makes them feel like crap, so they just do the lower intensity one. Or they do the higher intensity one and because it makes them tired or faster they don't go as long and then they really don't touch on this anyway and they burn less calories total but yeah there you have it uh those are the newbie the the big newbie mistakes for people trying to lose weight whoa blurry um and i thought this was a cool representation you know the only thing that i couldn't get uh for the difference between fat and carbs is <laughs> 
this isn't necessarily faster in an electronic device than this. So I thought a cool way to uh, show the speed of cars versus the speed of uh, fats would be uh, just, just consider how long batteries last in an electronic device as, as an energy source. And then I uh, have these here, and uh, they're going to be a representation of how long the uh, carbohydrates last in an in a energy burning scenario. A little rainy out here. Not sure how I'm supposed to do this one handed. Maybe this will work. Yeah, that'll work. Get my own. And we're done.